and welcome to bceagles.com. I'm Jami DePerel, and it's great to have new Boston College Athletic Director Martin Jarman with us. Martin, congratulations, and welcome to the Heights. How's it feel? Thank you. I appreciate it. It feels great. It feels great. I'm excited and ready to get going. Now, when you were going through this process, I'm sure it was daunting at times. Mm -hmm. What stood out to you in terms of researching Boston College? Well, you know, the, the academic, um, high-level academics, uh, being in the ACC, uh, and then the unique environment and culture that is BC, I, I, really, I really felt strongly that that was something that was very attractive, not just for me, but also recruiting students. Uh, the Jesuit way and the value system, I firmly believe in that. Uh, that was a match for me, not just, you know, producing great engineers or, or great, great teachers, but, but great people. And that was, that was, that was uh, very attractive to me. Martin, during the interview process, when did you know that this is the job for you? Very early, when I learned more about BC and, and what it has to offer and just the, the passion and the understanding that everyone wants athletics to be great here and be excellent, that, that was very attractive for me. Uh, you know, you don't have many opportunities where you can go to a place that has the academic profile that BC has and compete at the highest level in the ACC. You know, that, that just doesn't happen. And so the opportunity, um, once I learned more and understood what BC was about, I wanted to be a part of it. And you know what the ACC is about. You mentioned it earlier today at the mm -hmm. press conference. You grew up around the ACC. You're originally mm -hmm. from Fayetteville, North Carolina. That's mm -hmm. ACC country. That's right. So that must have been something that kind of you rallied around too, saying, hey, you know what? I know what this conference is about. Mm -hmm. I can do this. Yeah, it was a dream come true for me. You know, I grew up watching the ACC and – Again, to be at a place that academically is very strong and to be able to marry those two as far as your strong academics and athletics, that is really attractive, you know, and that's what, that's what BC is about and that's what I want to be a part of and I think I can make a difference and that's why I wanted to be, be here. How hectic has it been for you in the last couple of days since Thursday's announcement uh, has it been overwhelming? It has been. I was out in California from last Tuesday to Friday, so when the announcement came, uh, I was at the 40 under 40 awards and there was a lot going on, you know, and, and I really wanted to try to connect with our coaches and, and a couple people. So it's been a whirlwind, probably harder on my on my wife and my daughter. She's only 20 months old, so she she's not sleeping really well right now. But uh, but it's been great. You know, it's, it's a blessing to be here. I'm excited and I'm ready to get going. Yeah, that must be tough, too. I mean, congratulations <coughs> on that 20 months old. The sleeping patterns might be disrupted a little bit. <laughs> yes, the sleeping <laughs> patterns are definitely disrupted a little bit. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We're just excited, and, and my family, we can't wait to move here. It's a good time to be here. And the Boston College community is very excited, and one of the things I think that st stands out to BC fans is the fact that you're coming from Ohio State. Mm -hmm. They have terrific basketball and football programs, and you have a background there. You have a base of knowledge. You've had it throughout your career, even at Michigan State. How do you think that will uh, benefit you coming to Boston College and maximizing the potential of football and basketball here? Yeah, anytime you've been somewhere else, you try to take some of the, the best things and attributes about it and, and translate it to, to where you're going. And so, you know, I've been blessed and fortunate to have been a, par been a part of two great outstanding programs academically and athletically. So I, I think for me, once I learn more about what we have going at BC and what we're doing, I'll look for my experience and, and see where we can implement and do some things creatively to help us be successful. And is it helpful to come to BC, which has 31 varsity sports, from a Ohio State program, which has 36? Is that a benefit? It is. I think it's wonderful that we, we offer a broad-based portfolio of sports. You know, that's more students that we can attract and, and recruit, and I, I think that's great. I love providing experiences and opportunities for young people, and to have 31 sports, I think that's a blessing. I think that's great. Who have been some of your mentors throughout your career? Uh, Gene Smith is, is right there. You know, he's my guy. I've learned a lot from him and, and uh, done, emulated, tried to emulate some of the things that he does. Mark Hollis at Michigan State, he's been great. Joe Castiglione, you know, some of these guys have really been instrumental in how I operate and how I see things. And um, I, I hope someday that, that uh, they know and understand how much I appreciate what they've done for me. One thing that kind of really stood out to me earlier was your three themes that you mm -hmm. want to incorporate immediately at Boston College. What are they? Passion. Uh, I want passion and energy in everything that we do. I think that builds momentum and that's, that's very strong. We have some energy and momentum going now. We have to keep that going. 
uh, alignment. You know, we all have to pull in the same direction. We all have to make sure we understand our shared goal. And everybody has a role, and we have to play those roles. And so I think just from athletics, university, and the BC community at large, we need to be all in on, on where we want to go. Um, and competitive excellence, that's the last one. Uh, we want to compete. We want to be every single day, how do we get better? How are we getting better? Competitive excellence in all that we do, not just wins and losses, but how are we pushing the envelope to, to, to get better and be the best we can be? Are those part of a central theme that you have for a message for the BC community? What, what is your message to the Boston College fan? Uh, like I said, our goals are going to be twofold. We want to help develop our kids academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually, and we want to win. Those are the two goals for our department, and that's what we're going to do. I'm ready to play. I think he's ready to go. There's no <laughs> doubt. What's the timeline for you to start? Uh, so we'll probably have a, a, a six, six to eight-week transition. We'll probably start mid-June. Um, we'll, we'll move early June. I have some things to wrap up at Ohio State that I have to take care of first and foremost. And uh, but I'm already in. I'm, I'm doing things every day, and, and uh, I'm just excited. And, you know, I think when you have this kind of opportunity, uh, you want to do it the right way, and you want to hit the ground running, and, and I'm hitting the ground sprinting. Well, you're doing it the right way, and I, speak, I think I speak for everybody in Boston College <coughs> to welcome you here. And Thank you. And we are very excited about this. Thank it's you. It's going to be a new era in Boston College athletics led by Martin Jarman. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. All there right. You go. He's Martin Jarman. I'm John Mita Perel. Check back in to bceagles.com for updates throughout the day and throughout the week. So long, everyone.